Well, now to the state's ongoing battle against the surge in coronavirus cases. More than 10,000 new cases in the last 24 hours. And the percent of people testing positive, that continues to soar as well. Right now, almost 29%. I think that's the highest we have seen in this pandemic. WJZ live with team coverage. Investigator Mike Halgren live at the Northern Parkway testing site in Baltimore. Really staying on top of these latest developments, Mike. Some people out there are waiting a few hours today. Oh, Rick, Denise, certainly were here earlier today, but there is no line right now at Northern Parkway and Park Heights. So come on down if you want to get your test until 5.30 today. They are very efficient. We can tell you here in Baltimore City that hospitalizations have gone from around 300 on December 20th to more than 800 today. But boosters do provide effective protection according to some latest, the latest numbers. Get some tests done, shall we? People lined up at the Northern Parkway testing site in Baltimore hours before it opened, waiting for a hard to get COVID 19 test as the city recorded its highest positivity rate ever 33%. It's ridiculous. This is too long, two hours. But some people have been waiting longer than two hours at other places. So I'm not going to complain. WJZ asked the mayor about frustration over the lack of tests, a problem happening nationwide. No one has waited an hour yet as it, did, it didn't start until 12, 12 noon today. Uh, but it is frustrating, but I, we also know uh, that we're working with all of our partners. How long have you been waiting? Oh my gosh, we've been here for about an hour or so. Standing for hours in line is not not acceptable. Maryland's comptroller says the lines for tests almost two years into the pandemic are alarming and he called for a statewide mask mandate, something the governor says he's unwilling to do. If you're vaccinated and you're boosted and you have a mask on, at least you have, you're doing what common sense would say. Governor Hogan revealed new numbers from UMMS that show 89% of recent cases in Maryland are the Omicron variant. 74% of those hospitalized recently are unvaccinated, but only 2% of those who have received their booster shot have been hospitalized. I just can't stress enough how important it is to get your booster shot as quickly as possible. Despite the rising case numbers, Mayor Brandon Scott is demanding schools stay open for in-person learning and will provide city schools with 100,000 rapid tests and 80,000 N95 masks. Most importantly, I hear directly from students all the time who tell me, Mayor, I cannot return to virtual learning. Now, the mayor is working on procuring a total of 200,000 rapid tests. Governor Hogan says the White House told him it's going to be several weeks before the federal government can help with those rapid tests. Baltimore County is also expanding testing. Our live team coverage continues with Christina Mendez at White Marsh Mall with details on that.